Today we're talking about geopolitics, the Eastern Mediterranean, and Turkey's role within this over the coming year. One of the key issues within this uh, disputes over maritime space. Now, I'm here with Victoria, who's somewhat of an expert in uh, maritime space, has, um, has a PhD in maritime security and law of the sea. Victoria, lay it out for us. How, how do these uh, disputes work? Right, thanks George. So, Disputes are often linked to overlapping claims to maritime space. Right. The states under international law, for our purposes, are able to claim out to 200 nautical miles from a baseline. But where there is overlap with neighbouring states, they should delimit, uh, which means resolve the differences in claims. The issue with de developing and determining maritime claims is that they will include rights to uh, claims over natural resources and in the Eastern Mediterranean what we're really talking about here George is gas. Because of the importance and the, the value of this resource we're likely to see geopolitical disputes mm. over the maritime space continuing to 2020 and a key actor as uh, you've referenced in the introduction is Turkey so how do we see Turkey's position in this going into 2020? Turkey is likely to stay very intractable over the coming year. Um, Turkey's foreign policy has become far more assertive over the last few years. It's shown willingness to act a bit unilaterally mm. to, in pursuit of its aims, uh, foreign policy aims, even when that means upsetting its allies and risking uh, sanctions and some, and potentially even. Um, now, there's a bunch of domestic reasons about why this could happen, uh, driving Turkey forward, and we don't see this particularly likely to change over the next year. Now, one thing else I want to talk to you about is uh, infrastructure around developing right, this yeah. gas. Um, tell us a bit about how that's looking over the coming year. What, yep. what, what, what can we see? Okay, so really, that's another really key issue for this region into 2020 is the development of infrastructure to get East Med gas to market. We can see a number of proposals, among these the East Med proposal. There's also proposals being spearheaded by Egypt, which has ambitions to become a regional energy hub. Yeah. But critically, for our purposes, these proposals do not include Turkey. So I think one of the key questions is, what is Turkey's reaction likely to be to proposals for infrastructure development, which it is not included in? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. I mean, I think likely going forward, um, we can expect a whole range of potential actions from Turkey. Right. What we've seen over the past few years is Turkey has shown willingness to use a, um, a wide range of foreign policy tools from military right through to diplomatic. Mm. And so I think that the key takeaway should be in 2020, we should expect the unexpected from Turkey in terms of foreign policy.